Hello, I'm Kim Sauer at APEC 2016 in Long Beach, and I'm joined today by um, Alexander Gerfer from the Worth. Great to see you here. Um, you. Now, I want to talk a little bit about um, Worth and, and the global environment that you're, you're working in. Can you give us a snapshot of the, the various markets that you're involved in? Well, uh, we serve any market, um, but mainly and focused really on industrial applications, medical, transportation, automotive, uh, a bit and less the consumer markets. So that's where we are and this market is developing good mm -hmm. and um, yeah, challenging because mm -hmm. a lot of new applications come into the game like Industry 4.0, driven in Germany and end of things. And, uh, Power management is one key role there. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And these are traditionally quite high reliability markets, but also some consumer is coming in, certainly into automotive. So if we focus on the high reliability markets first, obviously um, the reliability, the quality issues are, are very high up on, the, on, on what customers really need. Do you have to deal with those differently than you would with like the, the, the more not relaxed, but the, the, the less reliable consumer side of things? Well, uh, even the consumer side is now asking for more reliable components because they see that uh, field failures, even in consumer applications, would drive them to high cost mm. afterwards. So, of course, what we do is from the beginning to design in quality in, uh, in accordance to mainly ACQ 200s for the passive components, even if we don't name it. Many of our designs are starting from there. There's a lot of things checked up there. Uh, but then still be separate, let's say for really automotive driven applications, these components again in a separate uh, way of marketing, catalog, uh, items specially marked on these markets because even if the quality sits inside, the applications uh, have different uh, needs, different uh, environmental aspects mm. which we have to be uh, informed and to be involved in the designs to make this really best in choice of the applicable component and uh, to be um, best fitting to the application and to the uh, yeah, needs of the customer application. So with, with that sort of approach and with Industry 4.0 which you've mentioned and that whole supply chain transparency, is the way you're working with your customers and the designers, is that changing? Are you closer, are you, you know, involved with that aspect right from the beginning to design for manufacturability? Well, this is what we uh, do now since the beginning because in our market uh, design engineers do not like too much the magnetics, the inductors. We have learned it yesterday also here on the IPEC show again from uh, Dr. A. Ridley which really did bring it to the point that the knowledge about the magnetics or inductors is really very weak and does not get trained very well but that's not an American phenomenon, that's a global phenomenon mm -hmm. that the uh, high schools, universities do not go very detailed into this topic and uh, stay very basic. Um, what we did from the beginning is to, uh, to really say we teach the users what is important on the inductors, how to choose, how to select, how to get it best fitting to the application and then to, and what we see also now with other uh, manufacturers here doing magnetics, they begin to get better specs to the customers mm -hmm. and that's the right trend because that's what we need um, because not everything is digital, we have analog and power is analog even if there's a digital control loop, it's analog design and uh, we have to keep this knowledge really uh, into the engineer's mm -hmm. um, mind. Otherwise, the time to market would prolong because you would fail in your design time over prototype build, which does fail then in a short time and so on. So that's what we try to do really from the beginning to help the uh, designers mm -hmm. with our design teams uh, ease uh, in behind to easily find the right best fitting component for the application with all the yeah, bottlenecks or mm -hmm. ops, um, problems which could occur if I choose yeah. the wrong component. Yeah. Okay, let's talk finally about the, the future a little as, as far as you can look into the future, but what sort of trends are you seeing? Where are the growth, growth areas for you? Uh, still it's um, the upcoming uh, things like mentioned before, Internet of Things, um, uh, data communication in general, if it's wireless or wired, that's uh, a trend. Um, we learned just by an actual study that um, the, the hype of Internet 4.0 and Internet of Things is a bit, or Industry 4.0, is a bit uh, slowing down because the expectations were too high eventually and uh, too, too accelerated scene coming into the market. Um, but of course, predictive maintenance is a very important point for industry applications and industrial um, 
um, users. So this is a, a thing where I can at least yeah, control or get a better hold of downtime and production lines and by this enlarge my productivity, get better output and so a better return of my investment in my industrial environment. So for me, I think it's only okay taking a longer time until it is uh, coming to the uh, applications and will be used. But um, what we do is, of course, and what we try to do is to um, give the best support again to the designers that their time to market is shrinking and not uh, yeah, taking longer as yeah. needed. Yeah. Yeah. Also this uh, trend we can see as well as, of course, any kind of uh, miniaturization coming into the game, even here for power supply applications. But that has to be very carefully um, discussed also in such kind of seminars here, what is really the meaning of your efficiency measure, of your power density uh, stated. Also it's every time a good conference here to discuss about these mirrors. Yeah. Um, but again, we, we are forced here to, to have right components best fitting to these applications and we are still working on miniaturization, better materials still, even if not so many different materials are to find on yeah. the art. Interesting, okay. Well, thank you very much for your time, Alexander, and uh, wish you the best of luck and uh, success here at the show. Okay, thanks. thank you.